everyone today i'm going to be doing kind of a late night um kind of old uh re-review this time this re-review um this is my first ever re-review by the way this review is going to be of the NECA aliens um seven inch scale ultimate um, reissue slash re-release of the NECA ultimate xenomorph warrior and egg facehugger and chest burster I already, I already reviewed the reissue of this guy once, but you know what, I decided to do this review because I have a lot of stuff to talk about, about this diorama. As you can see here, a lot of Xenomorphs right in front of and right in front of frame. So yeah, I have a lot of stuff to talk about, the diorama, and then I have to show off my little mini haul real quick. And then I have to do a separate video um, into an into a in-depth look at the diorama, but yeah. You can see most of it in front. But I'll go into a really, really deep, in-depth look of the diorama in, in a separate video. Maybe, maybe after this video or tomorrow, depending on what, how much time and energy I have. But yeah, anyway, um, this review is going to be the NECA Ultimate Reissue slash Re-Release Alien Warrior. So let's get into this. And let me just show off the, the little... Let me just show off the little haul here, as you can see. Got the Terminator 2, Ch Judgment Day, Sarah Connor, and John Connor 2-pack. And as you can see there, got one, two, three, four more Alien Warriors there from Aliens. And then Arnold Schwarzenegger, um, aka um, the Terminator himself. So there we go. Some Godzillas. So yeah. And then Alien Resurrection, Xenomorph. And Brett and Parker. But uh, yeah, so we don't waste that much time. I'm going to show off that haul video and the diorama of the NECA aliens wailing Yutani base in a separate video. So let's get into this. It should be a quick review. It should probably go to 13, 14, or maybe 15 minutes like always. But yeah, I'm not going to go over the articulation on the, on the blue one since I already covered it in another review. Just going to go on with the articulation and detail of the brown one and the detail and paint of the blue one. Since, like I said, I already reviewed the blue, the blue one. But I decided to review both of these guys together since I have a lot of them now. But yeah, let's get into accessories first. So first of all, here's an alien egg. Looks pretty nice. Has some nice slimy, gooey um, type of rough, rough, soft textures inside the egg. So yeah, that bo that bottom plate, the bottom of the egg literally looks like it's, like it's sitting in oatmeal. It looks like oatmeal mixed with some dirt or something because... Cause uh, oatmeal is obviously white, but if you add, but if you add dirt to it, it'll it'll look disgusting, and yeah, it just looks all slimy and gross like that, which is a good um, which is a good um amount of detail there in the bottom. So there you go, and it has some vein work inside the egg as well, so you could give it that nice slimy look, like I said. Then the flaps are all have this nice glossy shiny paint, with some little um with some little um. Uh, um, slimy lines going down on each flap, and then of course the gooey slime, the gooey hard type of resin slime going across the flaps of the eggs. This one, this one, very little, and then this one, very little. This one, very little, and this one has the most. But yeah, the in the inside of the egg looks pretty good. So yeah, and then the webbing. So yeah, and then the outside of the egg it looks pretty good as well. It looks amazing as well. The rough textures here, type of square circle bits, and then the paint has a nice um, black, blue, and kind of a, bl a black, kind of a very dark black and dark green, and a little bit of brown there. Don't know if you can see that, but I can see that's a little bit of brown there. So yeah, and the base hollow. Uh, can't read the tiny wording, but yeah, the egg looks pretty good. And then a face hugger, of course. So yeah, face huggers always looked just gross and disgusting in the film. Like they're not only like meant meant to be in a in a creepy, slimy way, but James Cameron and basically everyone in the alien films didn't make the aliens only creepy, but in other ways, in other inappropriate ways. And the face hugger really represents that. So yeah, this is why face huggers are all gross and slimy, and just overall disgusting. But but these are the type of bugs I like, science fiction bugs, 
face hugger has nice details underneath there. Little black area and the that weird part right there. Then all the fleshy pink um um texture on the outside. Then the little flaps here. Nice and glossy in the inside with some sculpted line work in there. Camera focus. There you go. So there, yeah. And then the outside, the tail, the from the back all the way to the tail has these kind of um, rigid um rigid cuts from the back all the way to the tail. So yeah, little round ridges ridges there. So yeah, looks pretty good. The legs are nicely detailed. So yeah, we're not gonna spend too much time on the face hugger, but the chest burster looks pretty good itself. All bloodied up and kind of all bloodied up. Especially in the head and the this piece, it's all bloodied up. Um, so yeah, nice attention to detail there. Silver teeth, then the little head, it's tiny, and and uh, has a, quite a lot of blood on the end. So yeah, very nicely detailed. So yeah, now that I went over accessories, and um, like I said, uh, I already reviewed the. And the blue alien warrior reissue, so let's just go over the the articulation and the detail of the brown one, which I never did a review of the brown one. I probably um so yeah. I only did a resurrection alien, which is the only brown alien I did a review of, but yeah. So yeah. Let's start off with with detail. Detail. The sculpt and bodywork looks pretty good. Has the nice ribs there and then this type of spinal column type of piece. It's not a spinal column, of course, but it has like these spiky, rigid spikes in the middle, the ribs, and then the, and then all the biomechanical detail from the top of the waist, and then these little round fins here that all warriors have. So there you go. It's pretty nice. The spiky, rigid heads with this with this kind of round, square type of rectangle grooves here. And some nice black wash in there to fill in those little square grooves. Then the biomechanical lines here, the bottom, and then on the top, and then the nice spiky rigid ridges here. Has like three rows of spiky rig, rig of spikes. So yeah, I I love the the rigid head alien warriors. They're one, they're one of my favorite alien designs. And you can hear Ripley dying in the background in the in the dream sequence. So yeah. The jaw is pretty articulated, and then has the tubing here, which is very delicate. You have to be careful with it, like the tubing on the Terminator's shoulder and head. So there we go. The tubing looks really nice, and then the over overall the figure has a really nice glossy, shiny type of metallic brown on on the on these on this on these areas of the body here and on the round fin as well. Then just like the aliens genocide alien, um, the black one at least it has. Uh, some some very very dark black mostly black and on this part here then the biomechanical lines and This part is brown. You might not see it because I'm kind of in a dark area, but yeah Glossy brown here a uh, completely dark over here and then the hands look pretty good and painted fingernails and then the giant defense fin that they use to defend themselves although it doesn't really do much, but they have it so there we go. So yeah, it's pretty nice. And the head, nice brown, a nice really dark black in the front of the head. Metallic teeth there. The type of slime, gooey webbing between his and that connects his jaw. It's a little mini mouth here. Looks nice as well. So there we go. So so we could get this review um quick and easy with. Let's just go over articulation real quick and some comparisons afterwards. So let's start with the head. The head goes side to side. Very little because um, of the tubing, of course, and because it's actually like a tight um, ball joint at the head. So there you go. The head goes a little down, and then it goes back, and then goes back a little far. For some reason, it's really, really stiff. The head is really, really stiff on mine, but it goes... Um, Back and um, it goes down and back. So yeah, you can check out my review of the Blue Alien Warrior. The head goes really back, especially when when you remove the fin. But I don't want to review remove this um spiky fin because it's pretty tight in there, and I just like it like that in general. So yeah, head articulation not that much. 
uh, jaw articulation. Jaw opens that far, kind of uncomfortable doing it. So yeah, opens that far, closes, closes of course. Little mini mouth comes out really far. So there you go. Nice glossy, um, metallic color to the mini mouth as well. The arm goes out that far and then in that far and then all the way around. Double jointed elbow and then the and then the ball joint on and then the elbow itself goes 360 degrees along with the rest of the arm. Then the arm itself goes 360 degrees as well. And then the fingers go back that um up that far and then down that far. Hands go are on a hinge that go side to side and up and down and 360 degrees. And then the body. The body goes 360 degrees as well. To be very careful doing it. So yeah, thank God this is thank God this alien warrior isn't like the big chap that snapped in half completely when I moved it 360 degrees. Which I like that about the alien warrior. So there you go. Obviously I showed you that it went it went all the way around the course. So it goes back that far and then down that far. Leg goes up that far. And then it also goes back that far, and you could probably and you probably heard it squeak. Kind of scared about that, but not not that much. See, ah, that's pretty awful. But like I said, not not too worried about it. It's nothing, but yeah. Double through your knees here, pretty nice. And then the and then the knee along with the rest of the leg goes three sixty degrees. Toes go from here, and then they go back that far, and then down that far. And then the feet themselves go all the way around. So, there you go. Looks pretty nice articulated figure overall. If we could get this guy in the proper position. Then the bendy wire tail. Of course, you can move it anywhere you want. So, yeah, it's just like other aliens. So, yeah, I mean, blue one. Now let's just go over the blue one real quick. Blue one uh, has nice uh, um, dark blue and black mixed together like like the brown one has really shiny glossy paint the webbing is actually blue um, um to hold the mouth together which is kind of funny but yeah silver teeth painted nails on both hands and on the feet as well actually you know what the feet are the feet um toes are actually all black but uh yeah kind of surprised back looks pretty good so yeah, now if you want to go into a really um good in depth look, um check out my first review of the of, of the blue reissue um Xenomorph Warrior. But so we could end this uh review really quickly. Let's just go get some some immediate not immediate but some quick comparisons. So here's the Alien Warrior compared to the new one of the newest big um alien figures. The glow in the dark big chap, which if you see my review, I said I was gonna use it as a skin to xenomorph, which I am, but I'm still in the process of making like a top metal walkway with the staircase and some metal poles, so this guy could actually be hanging down and so he could make sense. But yeah, you can really use that as a skin big chap. Go check out my review so I could go in more into in depth with them. Um, check out my review by the way. It's a good figure. Then the egg, of course. And then next to some random figures, here is a alien warrior next to Terminator Endoskeleton, which check out my review of that by the way. And yeah, the ribs actually broke, so yeah, I'm not gonna go into full detail and I'm not gonna tell the story how it broke. You should check out my review, but yeah, yeah, it broke and I already did a review of that guy. So yeah, and then next to one and uh, one of the newest predators as well. The SDCC Demon City Hunter Predator, aka Walmart exclusive, since um, since conventions are closed because of COVID. But yeah, and then next to the Future Predator. So yeah, like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. I'm sorry I can't show the diorama. I really can't record that much. Only till 15, 24, or 25 possibly. So yeah, if you enjoyed this video and you found it entertaining, like, comment, and subscribe. And then share this video with your friends if you did enjoy it. And and leave a comment. Or leave a hate comment if you want. I don't care. But all I care about is that 
people stop by. So, see you in the next one. Peace. I'll definitely review more more figures, the John Connor and Sarah Connor 2-pack and the Arnold, and some other stuff. So yeah, this has been a quick review.